I mean, that seems to me a pretty strong way to start this debate, because what you seem to be saying is that so long as I have pro-Israeli voices, that's fine. As long as I have a lot of people like you who just have one view of this, then I'm a fair journalist. But the moment I stray into people who are pro-Palestinian in a very passionate manner, then somehow I'm uh, failing in my journalistic duty. And I would say that that right there is part of the problem, Brooke, because I have tried to turn this show into a genuinely fair platform for all sides, all arguments, all voices. And I think we've been getting the audiences that that reflects, which is people like it. They like to hear both sides. Why don't you? So Pierce, thank you for bringing up that tweet. Um, first, I want to say that's not what I'm saying at all. There's pro-Palestinian, there's pro-Israel, but you've been having pro-Hamas people on your platform, and you're giving them an opportunity to spew their virulent anti-Semitism and their propaganda that justifies Hamas terrorism. It's one thing to can debate issues one, of geopolitics you, and national. Brooke, Brooke, can you name right one? In, right in front of me, I can't. I was replying to something that uh, well, just name you one. had some went on that I was Name one guest I've had in a month. You know, I don't have who to actually name has expressed... right now, but I can name someone no, but hang who on, is Brooke, on Brooke, right now. With all due respect, Brooke, Brooke, with all respect, you tweeted yeah. this lengthy yeah. attack on me and my journalistic okay, rigor. Okay, so, so I will talk about and it. I'm simply Let's asking you, about, if you're going to do that, the Brooke, people Brooke, you have on right hang now. Hang on, Brooke, hang on. If you're going to do that, I don't think it's unreasonable to say, who? Which of my pro-Palestinian guests expressed support for Hamas? Because I must have missed that. 